What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. I was thinking about a song when I saw this story. A song started playing in my head. I was boom, boom, chicken, chicken, chicken head. Boom. <laughs> I was thinking about that song. There's a lady in a town called Twickenham. Twickenham in England, in the UK, and she found an actual chicken head in her KFC um, meal. Actual chicken head. Y'all see it on the, the picture. And, oh man, this is not the first time that we've seen chicken places have situations like that. I've seen situations where rats have accidentally got into the chicken mix and instead of a, a thigh or a breast, you got a fried rat in your chicken basket. I've been to restaurants before where you, you know you get your, your meal comes out and it, it's a long hair in it. You know, we've all been to that type. That stuff give you like the willies, man. It's like, yeah, make your flesh crawl. And it was weird because when I read the article, <laughs> it said even after that, she gave the, the, the KFC, she gave him a two-star rating. How do you get any stars after you find the head of a chicken in your meal? That's like, you should get negative stars at that point. I mean, she, she's a nice lady because how, how do you still have it in your heart to give them a positive rating. And she said it put me off the rest of my meal. In other words, it turned off the rest of my meal. You think? I wonder if she still ate the rest of them. I don't know, you know, she said it put her off the rest of the meal, like it threw her off. I'm, I hope that means that means that she just didn't even, which should be understandable. I'm not, man, you don't find a chicken head in your chicken basket and then say, oh, chicken hair, let me get this drumstick there. And start eating the drumstick, you don't do that. I'm one of those people, man, if something that extreme happens at a place that I eat at, it's over. They will never, ever see me again. The, the restaurant offered her like some free food, incentives and things of that nature, but it don't matter. I don't never want to eat that. It's a wrap. I can't do it no more once I see that. Because you got to understand, and this is a true, this is a true statement, and y'all are going to relate to this unless you're just a different type of person. Things like that, as it relates to your food, they are traumatizing. And I don't mean traumatizing like you just, oh my God, you're going to lose your mind. I mean just, it sticks with you and you never forget that. So anytime you go, see, I got food poisoned at, at, at a restaurant way back in the early 2000s. And I got so sick. I got so sick, man. I was down for like a week. I was so sick. That once I got back to normal, I knew in my heart that I would never eat at that place again. And not only would I never eat at that place again, I won't even eat at any of the other locations. I'm not going to eat at the location that's on the other side of town from the one that food poisoned me. I won't even eat at a brand new one that they build from the ground up in another state. It's over. It's a wrap. That's me though. Because you don't forget how you felt when that messed you up. And all that she got was a visual. But that visual will mess you up. And it's crazy that she lived in a town called Twickenham. It's Twicken. Twicken rhymes with chicken. So it was Twickenham. She found the head of a chicken dam. I wonder if it was still finger licking, ma'am. <laughs> man, 
Man, bro, I don't, I don't know what I would do, man. I know people that would throw up on sight. It'd be, it'd be over. Because the, 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 the definitive um, visual, let's <sighs> make your flesh crawl, man. This is why it's very important that we start to transition ourselves out of eating at these fast food restaurants. Plain and simple. We have to start transitioning ourselves from that because um, it's hard enough to find good food. It's hard enough to try to eat healthy uh, when you're making that effort to do so. But when you steady going to these different spots and these different, even 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 restaurants, five star restaurants, nice places, you still are at the mercy of the individuals who are in that kitchen that you can't see. And you never know what's going on behind those scenes. You don't know. You can walk into the, the area when you first walk in. It's beautiful. It's pristine. It's lovely. But you don't know if the kitchen is dirty. You don't know if the workers are dirty. You know, you don't know if they go, <sighs> yeah, so anyway, let me finish making this salad. You don't know what they do. So you, you, you have to be very careful, man. And it's tough because I know, you know, we all eat out. I know I do. But you got to really start focusing on moving on from that. Because even without the chicken head being in there, the chicken itself at a lot of these fast food places is so doped up and hormoned up, it's not good for you anyway. So tell me what y'all would do in that situation, man. That's why a lot of people are growing their own foods. If they do chicken, they're raising their chickens if they have that ability. Tell me what y'all would do in that situation. And let's go jam some Project Pack. All right, man, it's your big brother, K. Reno. Peace.